Um, good morning. Uh, it's morning here. Um, the I think the twenty fourth, the twenty fourth of April two thousand and eighteen. Um, I wanted to talk about um, a dream that I had um, regarding the times we're living in. It might be the first of uh, the first of other things I want to share. It was, um, I had this dream where I, I was in a very, very large town hall, and I think it was about half, it was quite, it was quite a large hall, uh, about the size of half, well, quarter of a football field, yes, the size of a quarter of a football field. And there are many chairs and tables. I mean, there were people were seated in small groups. Um, some were playing chess, some were just drinking, some were having a good time. I think I was having, uh, I was with some friends having uh, sort of local delicacy, uh, Asson. Asson is um, spiced and peppered goat's beans, delicious. It, it's sort of braised. Um, it's quite delicious. I was having that with the beer, I think. Um, and so we're, we're seated around. Uh, tables were in groups of fours or sixes, depending on the size of the people sitting at them. And um, we're just talking, and all of a sudden, the ground started shaking like a mini earthquake and we were all surprised like looked at each other and said what's going on here uh, and someone just flippantly said ah maybe the dead are rising first like maybe the dead are rising first maybe it's a rapture and it just struck us like what is this it and I, I thought to myself hang on if it is am I red as I was saying am I red I just took off I was lifted off lifted up into the air at such a great speed. The amazing thing was, um, as I was rising up, I could see my friends and the other people at the other groups of, um, um, the, the other tables um, being lifted up. We could see the ones who were lifted up, we could see the ones who were left behind. All this was in, I don't know, it, it, it took place as, within the millisecond of a millisecond of a millisecond of a millisecond of a second and yet everything played out as if it was like was a full grown full blown event like a space of about minutes happening but we knew every i knew everything happened in such an instantaneous time excuse me and as I was lift, it, it, it was it was as if um, I'm trying to think what I can use as an analogy. Um, it was as if it was um, I was in a sling, like a sling, and I was in the middle, like like I was lifted in a like in a hammock. You're lying in a hammock and you're being lifted up at such a terrifying speed. It was thrilling, and even in all that, I was like, "Wow, I made it! I made it!" And then this stupid, childish, childlike curiosity, like wanting to see how fast we're going, how fast the earth was receding and everything. I sort of bent over to look like, wow, how, how, how high up am I? How, how, what's the speed like? And I was looking out and I leaned out too far and I fell out of the, the, the sling, or the hammock-like thing, I just fell out. And as I was falling out, of the sling, I saw Jesus grab me by the scruff of my neck. I just put me, you know, like you naughty child, come, will you stay there? Put me back in, and we flew right straight into into heaven. 
Now, when we got into heaven, um, we got into this room, and it, it, it wasn't so large, but it could contain all of us. And um, there were no angels around. I mean, yeah, we saw angels at the entrance, but once we got into the room, it was just us. There were no angels around. And then um, Jesus came in. We're wondering who was going to be the boss. Who, who was? What was the order here? What's what's who's going to be the boss? Who's like who? What are the chains and command and stuff like that? And and Jesus came in and said, "There's none. You, I deal with you. I look out. You know, it's you and me. We're going to do this together. I'm the person in charge. Don't worry. I have everything sorted out." And inside the room, there were screens, like TV monitors, very large screens, some facing this way, some facing this way, you know, facing each person, each group, it, like, were all around, but we couldn't just look at one screen, there were different screens facing in different directions. And on all those screens were happenings, goings on on the earth. Everything that was happening on the earth, we could see it crystal clear. We could see wars, we could see um, all the suffering, like the, the, the wars, the nuclear wars, people killing each other, diseases, everything that was, it, it was like, I don't know, it, 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 you could see the upheavals on the earth. If you wanted to zoom in closer, you could do it. If you wanted to be at a distance, you could, you could see what was, but the earth as a ball was literally boiling like it, it well not literally but you, you could see it the upheavals on the earth and it was terrible and we're removed from all that and then we're we're we're, we're thinking like we start asking ourselves okay so what do we do next are we going to um play or jump into some pool or and then jesus said no there's work to do um we still have our saints back there on earth so we need to get ready well there's there's still some work to do and um, and then I woke up waking up was not a pleasant experience I mean being coming to realize that um, I'm still stuck here on earth <laughs> after seeing all that beauty but um, yeah, I just wanted to share this, and um, I know that Jesus is coming soon. I know that he is coming, the head is coming to take his body back to join him and um, become the full church. Time is very short, I know. I can smell it. If you, if you... I mean, it, it, the, the world right now is like a boil, an overripe boil, just waiting for the pin to take the top, top off and squeeze out all the pus from the diseased part of the body. And that's what's happening right now. So, accept Jesus today. That's the only way out of what is coming. World War Three is coming. All sorts of terrible things are coming. <laughs> Given my profession, I will be the last person to post this, but Jesus first before anything else. And this is the greatest thing I could ever hope to do. If this is all I'm here to do, then it's, it's, it's something I'm really proud of. So please, please, please accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior to escape what is coming and to escape what's coming after this life. I cannot overemphasize it.